This month was quite something, I have to admit this. It was busy but rewarding at the same time, a lot of things going on in real life, in plant life. I am going to share with you in this video the spotlight, just the spotlight of the plant updates, plant additions, plant decor additions and plant growth in general. If you want to know about all the updates and the changes that have been made here, well, I dare you, we are going to see how observant you are. Can you spot them in this video? About two weeks ago, I went for grocery shopping and something caught my attention and it is this orchid here. The color is stunning. I really love the green hue that some orchid flowers have and this one has it of course it has some purple like dots or something but you can see the green and if it is green it's a favorite and here it has a little baby branch that gave us new flowers these here were already open not all of them but i mean here they were open so I am not sure how long will they last, but it is worth it. And also brands here, bloom here, bloom here. It is really, really cute. And the best thing is that she actually had a discount. So I grabbed this opportunity and this orchid and now she's adopted. The next one is actually a decor. A couple of days ago I've uploaded a sword with the alocasia, the big alocasia silver dragon that we have. She had a lot of babies, so this one here is one of her babies. But what I want to talk about is actually this thing here. This is actually a stand for candles, but it works great as a caspo, as a decorative pot for a plant and if you have mini tiny pots with propagated pieces or seedlings or something well these here the candle holders are great great way for a decor i mean it looks stunning especially at this shelf here look at that and it's green so that's a plus Let's stop admiring the baby alocasia for now because she's a bit shy, especially now that she's looking so beautiful in here. And let's talk about a huge plant growth update, a plant that I cannot keep up with it because it is growing like crazy exactly beside me, the Monstera Celta Pecanas is growing like crazy. I even had to put a zip tie here so I could redirect her up and down, up and down till I find some time and propagate at least one of her branches, especially this one, it has been going bald. It has been losing the leaves because I was late with the watering, but all the rest is great, great. So you can see that the leaves are looking healthy and green and beautiful, but she's going crazy. She's creating a jungle in here that I cannot manage. Next victim, uh, oh sorry, I'm star, is this Monstera propagated cutting. Survivor from Root Road, if you are not new to the channel, you already know that the mother plant had Root Road and this one survived thanks to me. Okay, let's stop now. I've bought this glass vase that has a base, a wooden base, and it looks stunning, absolutely stunning. It looks great in here. I am a bit bothered by the way that the leaves are growing. I mean, this is clearly a split. She has more flexibility than my cat. This monstera is wild and the roots are wonderful. Now, I am just waiting for her to grow more and more and more. Remember, if you have plants inside water, there are no nutrients, you have to add them. And this one is growing near the grow lights. I had her first 
in front of the window but she grew like this and now grow light it is maybe this way we can help her grow a little taller and more straight but it is in the monstera nature to grow wild and free okay this weird thing here it is actually another monstera and it is a cutting that I got a weird cutting that I got it is cut it like this for the decor I used some floating plants from the lake because the lake is full of floating plants and I wanted to remove some of them I mean they are having such a great time in there and they are growing and multiplying like crazy now I'm trying to find every glass, every vase, every corner in the house to put an aquarium with floating plants because I am feeling sad about them, I cannot kill them and near me I can find none who has aquariums and likes floating plants so for now separation <laughs> um, let's hope that this thing will actually root too and a rock for the decor also. This thing here, <laughs> I mean the silver stripe, the silver stripe is growing good because of the growlet. Again, if I remove it and put it in another corner in this room, it will die. But here it is growing and uh, it's growing taller than expected taller than the pole and I will either have to chop it and propagate it or extend the moss pole but I have no idea what I will decide in the end about this thing. So that's it for the silver stripe and now this thing here, another addition, same date as the previous one, I got them together, they are sisters. Now this one has a really vivid yellow on the flowers and it looks stunning. I was quite anxious about the leaves actually of this one and it needs watering because they have a yellow hue on them, but it is not the hue of the wilting leaves. You get me? I am not sure. They are kind of floppy, but they are still looking good. Um, this one doesn't have a lot of roots, but she's sewing the wheel to grow them. So we wait. She has so many flowers, it cannot those more growth right now at the leaves because of the flowers the flowers drain all the energy from here right now so we just sit back admire and wait don't you dare to get me started okay let's go fast in this Vinia growing wild creating a jungle and I can't chop her I I just cannot cut her I, I love this plant so much that I am having a problem, a hesitation problem with propagating it. Uh, I just don't want to cut it. I don't feel like it. I cannot just close the scissors and cut. Impossible. Now, the Hoya. The Hoya is doing so, so great. New leaves all the time some stress from the grow light, no blooms at this point, but it is a baby. The plants behind, the global green and the skin depths is growing massive, a lot of new leaves. It is the season now and they are growing crazy. What I want to talk more in detail about is actually this fuzzy. Okay, you remember, oh, <laughs> I want to talk about this thing. I feel like it wants to lay down and grow 
on soil. So I was thinking of actually buying a pot to plant it like this and grow it like this. It just doesn't want to stand up and grow straight up. And the baby here is doing great and we've got this leaf. I hope I won't break it while recording. We've got this leaf, we are preparing a new leaf here, but this leaf here is actually weird because I am not sure yet. It feels like it has some white and I never had a fuzzy that had a white variegation or something on it. And I am really wondering if it is about nutrition or something, what actually causes the white. I mean, I have no idea why this leaf turned like this, but it looks stunning. And actually, I would love to see more leaves like this one. But still, have to report her. Have to report her. These babies are growing way too fast. And I am so proud. Life is simple, but you know what is simpler? Well, it is the mind of the plant parents. Only one way to go. You see a plant, you buy a plant. And these two calatheas here are a new addition to the family. I really love the colors. I am sad because, for example, this one had this leaf like this. And this one, the new one that opened before I bought her, is kind of weird. But it still looks gorgeous and worth every glance, every stare, every admiration. And this one, Calatheas are so beautiful because they have so, so many patterns and colors. If you buy one, you will want more. And I definitely want more Calatheas, but the problem with the space, the universal plant parent problem, the space problem, we will find more space and if we can't find it, we will create it. I am going to have them levitating. But, well, yes, this one looks stunning, stunning. I mean, it looks like a lady with a lot, a lot of jewelry. Little jewels everywhere. And this one also had some browning here and there, for example here. Here, I was actually afraid of them having millibugs, but I've been taking and taking and taking again and again and again, and they seem to not have a problem with any pests. So this is really good news. And actually, I bought them a gift these plastic pots here and but what they will look stunning when it is time for them to be reported they will be reported in here i like the fact that this thing is actually matching the personality of the calatheas so so great so much i mean this is a personality win pot because the Calatheas, as I said, they look like they have jewelry on them, and this one is actually looking like diamonds, gems, or something. And I like the fact that they are transparent, so they make actually my job easier because I will be able to not only feel the soil but observe the soil and the roots this way. But look at this. <laughs> okay, okay. 
It reminds a disco ball or something bad. Mm -hmm. They are made for each other, aren't they? And the last thing that I want to talk about before we close this month's plant update recap is actually this... Can you hear me? This microphone is broken. Oh, you can hear me? Okay, well, uh, what I want to talk about is this both of those leaves, they are getting bigger and bigger. So if you really want to get big leaves on your philodendrons and plants in general, give them a moss ball. Um, it will do great. It will work miracles. They will create really, really big leaves, healthy leaves with minimum care. You just have to keep the moss ball moist. I don't but I water it, I submerge it in the pond every time that I want to water the moss balls, I submerge them into the pond um, it acts like a biological fertilizer or something it gives a boost so if you have aquariums, use the water from there this is great water I bet that if you know about aquariums you have already put some prime inside so there is no chlorine, chloramine and everything, no harsh chemicals for the plants and also all the design materials from the plants and the pets, uh, I mean the poop and everything, <laughs> this thing creates a great, great biofertilizer. So your plants will thank you, they will not get brown tips or anything, they will do amazingly great they will thrive as we say so this was today's video thank you so much for being here i will see you in the next one